<clears throat> hey, what's up, folks? Throw back again. Uh, <clears throat> so today is uh, day 488? Yeah, 488. I started May 8, 2018. It's September 8, 2019. So that's 16 months playing guitar. It's pretty impressive. Four hundred eighty days, sixteen months. Still not have have not missed a day. I'm pretty pumped about that. Take a life saving drink. Uh, so four hundred eighty eight days in, sixteen months. Not so, a year and four months in. Not too bad. Uh, I just wanted to go over in this video, um, some of the stuff I've been working on since the last time. It's been a while since I posted one of these. So I thought I'm just going to post the stuff that I've been working on, stuff that I've been doing. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to jump into this now. I, I got my amp, the Boss Katana 50, but I've got it disconnected right now. I got my guitar, classic VOD, telly, plugged right into my new amp, my new, uh, my new tuner. It's a Korg CA50. It's hard to see. You can see it. Uh, I've got a Snurk. I had a snare tuner. I'll show you this one. So I've got a snare tuner. I don't use it anymore. I got the CA50. So the snare here. Oh, oh, we can't see it. Oh, we can see it now. Let's turn it this way. And then we can see it. I'm turning on. And then if I tune it, oh, I'll turn it this way. Oh, let's turn, pull it back. Oh, I'm gonna move my chair back. Let's turn my computer. Oh, brutal. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and you can see it's a visual tuner. My problem was it wasn't very accurate. It doesn't have... Uh, the problem was it's not, it didn't have enough resolution. And I was, I was questioning whether or not it was how accurate it actually was. So I went with this thing, the CA50, which is a chromatic tuner. It means I can tune it to any standard. I can choose A440, which is the default. I can change it to any, any tuning I want. Well, I got it left on A440 now, but you can see it's got lights at the top. Green in the middle means it's in tune. And then uh, to the left or to the right, uh, sorry. So if it goes to the left, it means it's sharp. No, wait, hold on now. I got it right backwards. Right, so in this way, left is flat to the right is sharp. So I can know by looking whether or not the guitar is in tune. And it has a nice, I can plug, I can just take my guitar plug it straight into this thing. And it, it has an internal speaker. Uh, so I can tune my acoustic, but as soon as you plug in your guitar, it bypasses the, the microphone. And it goes straight into the, the tuning for the guitar. And you can see, all right, here's, now uh, we can see it. Uh, it's pretty much dead on E. And it's flicking between, occasionally between the low, and, uh, between sharp and flat. You call that good uh, on an A string, let's see where we're to. In that case, it's probably a little bit sharp. A little bit sharp. So let's tune it down. Uh, you always want to tune up. So we'll go flat first. So we can see it is flat there now. And then I'll tune it up. So it goes green. Oh, and I'm too. And now, for the most part, it's green, and it flicks between the two. It occasionally flicks sharp and flat. We'll call that good. Uh, that's the A string. Let's do D. 
D looks like it's a bit sharp. So here's D. As you can see, it, it's light is only flicking to one side. If it, was, if it was even, then it should be flicking constant green or either, either side. So it looks like it's a bit sharp. So that one's got to be tuned down. And then once you tune it down, you got to tune it back up. You never want to tune it flat. You, when you go flat, then you go up. Here's the D string. It's pretty good. We'll call that good enough. In that case, it's off by... It's... The good thing about this, it's in cents, so it's less than 10 cents, so it's 5 cents flat. Hearing, you can only hear probably 10 cents. Uh, uh, in a semitone, there's 1,200 cents. Uh, sorry, no. How does it go? In an octave, there's 1,200 cents. I forget how it goes. But either way, in, we, we hear in terms of 20, 20 cents. I gotta. I, I forget what a what a cent lines up to, but uh, I think it's about twenty cents. So if you're off either way, guitars are never perfectly in tune. Even if you intonate it up to twelfth fret, they're usually plus or minus five ten five ten cents as close as you can. So uh, we're on. We just did a D. Let's do a G string. Sorry, I'm just playing with the new tuner. Uh, G string is pretty much pretty much in tune. It goes sharp about two to five cents sharp. Call that good. If I go to the B string, B string is is alternating between sharp and flat. Call that good. And then the high E, high E is spot on. So I'll call that good. But that's, that's what I like about this one compared to the Snark. The Snark doesn't tell you in sense, it shows you graphically, but it doesn't give you enough resolution. Anywho, CA50 Chromatic Tuner from Korg. Uh, I, I highly recommend a, a Chromatic Tuner that, that gives you resolution in terms of sense. Uh, this was like 30 bucks. Could have went with like a Peterson stro Strobe Tuner. But they're like 200 bucks. 30 bucks is more than enough for... That's accurate enough compared to something like the Snark. And then the, the good thing about the Korg, as soon as you plug in your guitar, it bypasses the internal microphone and it, go, it uses the guitar lead. Otherwise, you can do it acoustically and it goes through there. It's pretty good. So we'll, we'll, that's too much about that. So I'm going to plug in the guitar. And we'll fire it up. And, all right, we're good. I don't know what the hell that was. What the? All right, my tuning is completely off. What the hell just happened? Let's check this again. I stood up and my tuning just sounds like absolute crap. What did I do wrong? We got E is correct. That is G sharp, which is not right. Tune that up to A. So when I must have, when I tuned the A string, I must have tuned it G sharp, and, and because I saw the green light, I thought it was in tune, but I tuned it too flat. So if I if I play back this video, I'll see that the tuning on the A string was, was shown as uh, A flat. That's better.
So that means that means my ears are better than I thought they were. I had one string out of tune by a semitone, and I could hear it, and I knew it was wrong. So you know, I should I. That's it. The green light on the tuner does not necessarily mean that it's in tune. It just means that it's on whatever note it's tuned to. You got to dig in deeper and look to make sure that the string is tuned to the way it's supposed to be tuned. That's a weird. That's a weird tuning. Tuning the A string down half half semi down. Anyway, I don't think you'd ever do that for a reason. It sounds like shit. I'd never do it. Anyway, sorry. That's uh. We're. we're uh, what are we in? Ten minutes in, talking about tuning, talking about this old thing versus the a chromatic tuner versus the snark. I would use this guy because it has the uh, line in. You can bypass the microphone. Good stuff. Uh, so I've got this guitar, my Sigma DM15. This is the third guitar I ever bought. And I've got my Tele, uh, Squire, Classic Vibe Tellies, uh, 50s Tele. This is the second guitar I ever bought. The first gar guitar I ever bought was the Epiphone DR100. And I sold it. It pains me to say that, but I, I sold it. Uh, I'm buying, <laughs> I'm making way for a new guitar. Uh, it's the uh, Epiphone ES339. Pelham Blue. It's kind of like a Dave, the Dave Grohl signature guitar from Gibson that costs like eight grand, but it's got the same color Pelham Pelham Blue. Uh, it doesn't have the diamond shape f holes. It has the standard f holes, uh, and it's from it's a semi hollow body. It looks it looks stunning. It's on order. I hope to get it either this week or next week. Uh, this, I hope it's a little bit lighter than my Tele. My Tele is nice, but it's, I find it a little bit heavy. But the color on the semi-hollow ES339 from Epiphone, you'll see it. The color is just phenomenal. Plays great. It's got coil tapping, all kinds of great stuff. So I had to part my original guitar to make what, to, to ease the blow on buying the new one. I uh, put a deposit down. Uh, funny enough, I bought it at Long McQuaid. I got an email a couple weeks ago saying that the case was in, but the guitar, I could come get the case, but the guitar wasn't in yet. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. What am I going to do with an empty case? Uh, couple, <laughs> I talked about this at work. There was a couple options. Well, one, there was a joke, you know, just listen to the sustain from that. Uh, <laughs> from Spinal Tap, you know, where he, he, you haven't played the guitar yet, look at this, anyway, anyway the, other thing, the other thing that came up, what else can you do in an empty guitar case, you can go down panhandling on, uh, downtown somewhere, <laughs> or, here's, here's the favorite one, you can, you can go downtown and play air guitar with your open guitar case, just saying, I don't know, it's a bit crazy, but there's actually videos on YouTube, go look for uh, air guitar uh, what was it called? What were we looking up? Air Guitar Buskers. Yeah. You can become an Air Guitar Busker with your uh, new guitar case. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Enough of that. What else we got next? Uh, so, I did... So far, I've done two open mics. So, I played... Um, every time I, I... I think I pretty much play this chord progression every time I uh, start a new video. <laughs> So every rose has its thorn. I played, I've done that so far at two open mics. Um, I've sang, I've sang it once. Uh, vocals it didn't go so great, but I I can I I know and I played it at my parents' house for that for a little get together. So that one I pr that's probably one of the songs I know the best. So I also know. So G, C, and D all day, I can play that. Uh, so I did two open mics, those two songs. Um, so that was good. Another thing that I did was 
or so I'll, I'll jump ahead a little bit. So September twentieth, uh, Our Lady Peace are coming to Newfoundland. They're going to be playing in Iceberg Alley tent. Uh, September 20th, the Friday, I believe, which I have tickets to. I couldn't get anybody to go on short notice, so I ended up giving the ticket away because I bought them online. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go. But the reason why I mention this is not because oh, our Early Peace I find it pretty good, but uh, the opening band for Early Peace called the Women of Rock, which is a, a band here in Newfoundland, and they are phenomenal. If you haven't heard of them, go check them out. But I went to a guy, a guy at work had a, his birthday party. I went to his birthday party and he was, he played in the backing band for Women Rock. And they played it in his parents' house. And I felt like I needed to play cover, like they were that good. Now, way more, way better than I have. And these guys have been playing together for 20, 30 years. And now they're getting ready to do their, they're practicing more or less a, a rehearsal, a kind of like a rehearsal jam session for this uh, upcoming uh, opening for Our Lady Peace, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, so uh, me, little old me over there playing like G, C, and D. <laughs> Out with all these phenomenal musicians that can like do, hear key changes, that can tune to piano, and they can just do all kinds of like making up music on the spot. Like being, so that was, for me, it was being around actual musicians was Holy crap, what I need to learn. Being able to do a, change keys at a moment's notice. Being able to tune to a piano. They don't tune using a tuner. They tune to a piano. Never done that before. I had no, I was way out of my league. Uh, something I should practice. But being able to tune to another source, to an external source. As a professional musician, you should be able to do that. But as a beginner guitarist, I was like, holy crap. Way out of my league. Anyway, uh, so uh, what else going on? Uh, so my guitar lessons. The, the, so my guitar lessons at the music collection, and they do. It's kind of. It's based on the school calendar year. So this this season is ended last Tuesday, and then I'm, and so then it's been a, basically a. It's been a week. A week or so, so today is Sunday, so this Tuesday coming is my next, so the next season starts off again. So we're still doing a 12 bar blues kind of a deal. So we're still following that. We're still playing like the Hey Joe kind of a. Th So that's been going pretty good. Uh, still, there's still lots of stuff to learn on that. There's lots of uh, uh, being able to play that kind of Hendrix kind of music. There's a lot of lot of techniques to learn. So we're still working through some of those techniques. I'm nowhere near ready. Uh, but in the meantime, been practicing say uh, the pentatonic scale and the neck. I won't go to that again. We've gone through that a million times. Uh, <laughs> One thing I did start learning though, I'm gonna do this real quick and I'll switch this over. Uh, I've been playing around. So I've been playing around the Boss Tone Studio. I got the Boss Katana 50. I've been learning the the intro to one. 
but now I've got a different uh, a different tone out of the Katana 50. So. <laughs> So I thought that that sounded pretty pretty okay, <laughs> pretty okay. Uh, I like I, I like the sound of that. So I, I've been mucking around with downloading some uh, <clears throat> some patches for the Bach Katana just to, just to experiment with what you, what tones you can get out of it. I'm really impressed with the Bach Katana 50. Uh, some other things I've been tossing around, which was learning. I heard. Um, Slow Dancing in a Burning Room by John Mayer. John Mayer is just a phenomenal guitar player. But say... And then he switched to... No. Yeah. No, how's it go? I've done it not really justice, but I, I find that song phenomenal. Uh, definitely want to learn that one. Um, the last one I'll talk about. Uh, so I've been learning a bit of finger style. Actually, let's, let's talk about this one first. So it's Justin Guitars Intermediate 5 Pick Finger Style. So it's. Uh, so we're going to pick out chords and the. Typical progression on a chord on a G chord, for example, six, three, six, four, three, four, two, three, four, three. And then we do the same thing. I like I, I like that uh, that pick 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 finger style a lot. Uh, I just to work on we sort of playing there a G G D C D. And then and then picking that out. So that I think this is a good practice exercise for being able to practice the the pick accuracy across all the strings without having to look. I've been still got a lot of work to go, but I, I kind of like that one. The last thing I'll talk about is just finger style, because uh, there's a few songs I have not I have purposely focused on, on the pick. That the last song I was talking about the John Mayer song. Uh, I was watching a Murdy a Murdy music, so it's kind of like a 
pick a pick finger style versus a finger uh, finger style, but in between they're they're switching from a pick, so holding a pick like this, to all of a sudden tucking the pick in between your, uh, I guess was that the middle finger and and the palm, and being able to do switch. And then be able to do that. That's something I want to practice. Uh, being able to switch in between in the middle of a song. That's that's way too advanced for right now. But that's something I want to just to get you to know. That's one of the things I want to be able to do. So if you do, say for example, uh, what's an example of this? Uh, and then switch here. So, so that's an example of you're switching between the pick and then finger style. But, you know, that's a long-term effort. Uh, and the, the last thing I want to talk about, what I've been working on the last little while, is is uh, finger style. Anyway, you get the point. Um, so finger stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff that I want to work on. Uh, the more you learn, the more the more you realize what you don't know. Oh, uh, so I did buy a Hercules. So a new guitar stand. Uh, it's weight driven, so if I drop this, it's easy to get it in and out. Anyway minor uh and my acoustic one thing i want to mention about this i've been playing guitar 16 months until till last little bit i uh, let's see if i got another pick here and there goes my tuner uh until until last little while i've been getting the music store to change strings and I've only now felt confident enough to be able to change the strings myself I bought a, a string winder uh, and I got a tuner and I felt confident enough to actually change strings and you know so I've changed the strings twice on this thing since and I, th I thought I did a pretty decent job Let's see if you can see you know I did I did all right so I mean long term so I'm gonna if I'm gonna own a bunch of guitars, I'm gonna need to know how to change strings myself. Otherwise, I'm just gonna spend a fortune and bring it to the guitar store. So, you know, learn how to change strings myself. I'm pretty happy with how this one came out. It took me it took me a couple of string changes to get it down. Um, but I, I, I'm happy with that. So it's been, you know, so recap, it's day. 488, so it's 16 months playing guitar. Uh, so I'm I'm okay with the progress. There's a long, still a long way to go. I still only playing 16 months. I love I played every day. Um, I don't know what else I can do. Uh, playing around, there's just so much stuff to learn. There's, every time I learn something new, there's more to learn finger style or, or or whatever else going on uh music theory uh well i'll end it there i'll play i'll play this out
apologize. That's it. So day day 48, 16 months, drone playing guitar, played every day, every day for his last 16 months, having a blast. Uh, look for another video for in the next couple of weeks where I've got a blue Pel a Pelham Blue ES339, which is the slimmed down version of the uh, ES335. Uh, I'm super stoked to get it. Uh, but no, Long McQuaid or you know, Long McQuaid and it takes some it's a limited edition, so I'm I'm hoping to get it this week or next week. It's on order. There's a way bill, so I'm pretty sure I'll get it soon. I cannot wait. Uh so yeah. So I'll end it there. I'm super stoked to get my new guitar. Uh cheers. Drum out. Cheers. <laughs>